Welcome to this channel and it's Bible time! In this video, we will answer this question. How many Marys are in the Bible? Mary was a common female name in Israel during the time of Christ. The New Testament mentions six different women with the name Mary. The heavy form of the name is Miriam or Miriam given to the sister of Moses. A sixth Mary in the Bible is mentioned as a member of the church at Rome. Paul includes her as one of the many people to greet at the end of his letter and describes her as one who worked very hard on behalf of the church, recorded in Romans chapter 16, verse 6. A fifth Mary in the Bible is Mary the mother of John Mark. She is mentioned in Acts chapter 12, verse 12. She had opened up her home for believers to meet for prayer, and it was during one of their prayer meetings that Peter was miraculously released from prison. This Mary's son is the author of the Gospel of Mark. Fourth Mary in the Bible is identified as Mary the mother of James the Younger and Joseph and the wife of Clopas, also called Alpheus in Luke chapter 6 verse 15. She is mentioned in Mark chapter 15 verse 40, Matthew 27 verse 56, and John chapter 19 verse 25 as watching the crucifixion of Christ. She is mentioned again in Mark chapter 15 verse 47 as seeing the place where Jesus was buried. And this Mary appears again in Mark chapter 16 verse 1 and Matthew chapter 28 verse 1 where she is called the other Mary. In connection with the empty tomb as she was one of the women who brought spices for Jesus' body and met an angel instead. A third Mary in the Bible is Mary of Bethany. This Mary was the sister of Lazarus and Martha. They lived in Bethany, a town near Jerusalem. Jesus and the disciples were frequent visitors in the home of Mary, Martha, and Lazarus. Mary of Bethany was the one sitting at Jesus' feet listening to his words while Martha sat up for the dinner, recorded in Luke chapter 10, verse 38 to 42. Before Jesus' arrest, Mary of Bethany anointed Jesus' head with costly oil. Jesus told those gathered in the room that Mary had done so in preparation for his burial. Matthew chapter 26 verse 6 to 13. A second Mary in the Bible is Mary Magdalene. This Mary was called Magdalene to help distinguish her from some of the other women named Mary in the Gospels. Magdala was a city on the southwest coast of the Sea of Galilee. This Mary was a follower of Christ and Luke chapter 8 verse 2 says Jesus had cast seven demons from her. No doubt, this deliverance increased her dedication to and love for the Lord. When Jesus arose from the dead, Mary Magdalene brought the news of the empty tomb to Peter and John and she has the distinction of being the first person to see the risen Christ. John chapter 20 verse 1 and 18. At number 1, the best known Mary in the Bible is Mary, the mother of Jesus. She was the virgin chosen by God to bear his son, the savior of the world. Mary lived in Nazareth, a city of Galilee, when the angel Gabriel made the announcement to her of the virgin birth, recorded in Luke chapter 1, verse 26 and 56. She married Joseph, a carpenter, but remained a virgin until after Jesus was born in Bethlehem, recorded in Matthew chapter 1, verse 25. Scripture reveals Mary as a humble, godly, and blessed woman. Mary was also present at Jesus' crucifixion. After Jesus' death, she was cared for by the Apostle John, recorded in John chapter 19, verses 25 to 27. And that's all for this video. If you find this video helpful, please give a like, subscribe, and turn the notifications on for you to be updated on the next videos. And always remember, if it is in the Bible, we want it. If it's not in the Bible, it's not for us. And I'll see you in the next video.